All right, now we are on Libra. Libra, 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 Gay Tarot reading. All right. Okay, I feel like this is you. Harnessing that Scorpio energy or Taurian energy even is here. Scorpio Taurian energy. So might have been going back and forth with that energy. And then trying to feel like yourself again. So you were into the polar opposite. So you could have felt a little unstable, but you're moving into stability. So that's the good news. There's a resurrection here of, of the new you. The, all the wonderful aspects of the old you and the new you is emerging. Woo! Okay, so that popped right out. All right, so let's see. What else? Where are we going? Woo, straight towards Aquarius. Seven. Of, you want to build on it. Okay. What's on the bottom? You've been resisting it. I think it's because of control issues. That came up in the... Um... What reading are we on? Libra. We're on Libra. Okay. All right. So, chariot. There is movement here. And it's going to be like slow, slow, so fast. Okay, so for some of you, it might be like a dog lover or a dog walker or something like that's coming up. Okay. Or someone who cares for your pet. Okay. Now I got double wands here. Four. Four of wands. So there is potential for victory here. All right. See? You could have had a lot of burdens that kept you away from uh, you wanting to... You know what it is? It's the lover in you wanting to emerge. And you've been fighting it. You've been doing everything but that. All right, now, internet detox. Okay. Now, this is the thing. Okay. It's like, if you're harnessing that Leo energy, or if it's a Leo moon, you could have been sensitive to what people were saying. Now, it's important to... Uh, be open to constructive criticism, right? But if you choose not to listen to anybody in the outside world, you still do have to listen to your inner world. And that's how you bring your manifestations, is focusing and by connecting. If you're not going to connect to the outside world, you definitely do have to connect the cord to your inner world, Okay, so that's really important. If you don't want to listen to what other people have to say, do connect and c commune or communicate with spirit. Okay, now how do you do that? You got to get quiet. Okay. Okay, so internet detox is in order in order for you to bring in this new reality that's meant for you. Woo! See? Oh my gosh, that's the next card. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's like the lover in you is wanting to be revealed and you're trying to resist it. And if that doesn't resonate, this isn't your story. All right, now Six of Pentacles, see? Okay, and I feel like through that love that you find in yourself, that's how you connect with the money, with the love, with the whatever it is you've been dreaming of. You might have felt left out or rejected. All right, now, you've been in your emotions about it, and you've still been dreaming about being with your person. All right, let's take a look at that moon for a minute. Okay, find a balance. <laughs> That's what Libra's been trying to do, and it's through love. Finding the love in you again. Balance. 
Okay, you want to feel like yourself again, but the new you, reflect on your priorities. Now, that was coming up yesterday. What is important? Can I cut out internet time to give myself more of a feeling of well-being and sense of balance? Assess the situation. What are we assessing here? Whether to trust or not. Okay. All right, so you've got two Virgo cards. So there might be a Virgo on your mind. And I feel like you've been hiding it if it's the moon energy and Virgo's popping up. Push through any insecurity. Moon and Cancer. Okay, and then here is lighten up the Leo energy. Okay, so Leo is sometimes that energy it can be like not open to constructive criticism and they take it personal and then you can't make change if you're taking everything personally you have to like you have to witness it and then move it open up to change okay so some of you have been resisting resisting that okay and Aquarius if you've been focused on Aquarius or someone with dominant Virgo or Aquarius they could be trying to assist you to make change into the new you and take inspired action. When you feel the impulses, that's when you move. All right, now, where is this love boat going? All right, let's see. What signs are we talking about here, too? Also, let's find out. Okay, that's the energy I feel like you're hiding. You want to bring your dreams to reality, and you want to feel like yourself again. Okay. You want to feel whole, body, mind, and spirit. Could be those signs, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, so what this tells me, the other ones aren't wanting to come out. We already saw what they were, but this is telling me if you focus on yourself more, Feel good first. Work on your dream work. Focus on that and stay focused there. And improve how you feel about yourself, right? No more self-loathing. And I feel like that would improve things. Woo! See, listen to your inner guide. And it, they will help you with the creative spark, the impulses. So you got, if you don't listen to the outside world, you have to listen to... Uh, the energy within. And yeah, I feel like this is you. The emperor. You've been dreaming up some beautiful things. But this is the thing about magician energy, right? If if you're not vibrating in a, in a positive place, then the funky stuff comes up in your outcomes. So you want to feel good. Okay, beyond judgment. I feel like you need to change. Well, it's up to you, but I feel like there may be some circle of friends that you may want to add new friends to your we don't have to get rid of old friends, but what I feel like is important is positive influence in your life. So do what you can to add those people into your life. Those that are inspiring and uplifting and are thought provoking, but in a positive way, right? I feel like these are the kind of things that you want to connect with now to the future. Okay. And... I feel like you have two two things that are coming in here, Libra. You could reconnect with someone from the past. Um, and where in the past you two judged each other in negative ways. You could have get past that and gone through some sort of maturity. And, and now you can come together like a destined uh, relationship. Also, I see in the future... Through some sort of gathering, okay, 
um, you could come together with somebody. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, and I'm getting air sign or fire sign. I feel like that's the victory you've been dreaming for yourself. Okay, and then here's, it's all about balancing again. That keeps coming out, balancing your life. What are important, what's important in my life? Isn't love important in my life? Yes, it is. Okay, and sometimes when you're an emperor, right, and you're in service to others, everything else can go by the wayside. And what I want to say is time won't wait for you. If you've been putting the brakes on something, time will not wait for you. The moment is now, okay? And uh, you might have been through hell. Here's a ring of fire, okay? And again, it's coming up. Do some sort of discipline that's going to help you feel better. Could have been like how you were raised that was causing some of that. Where are you a prisoner in your mind? You want to free yourself from that. All right. I feel like you're going to end up with someone younger than you. Okay. And they're, they're been given in the green light to you. There's two people. That's what I was saying. There's two people giving you the green light. Woo! Okay, so you are wanted. But I, I feel like it... it you want to find balance and stability and sure up that energy first. And that's what I have for you. Thank you, Libra.